What's up guys, it's Aiden and Lucy! And today our mom is going to be showing you guys how to sew the belt on bottoms. You can purchase this pattern at her comp or at her website, raincitypatterncompany.com. Now let's get sewing. The required pieces for the belt on bottoms consist of our one inch wide elastic and two front pant pieces and two back pant pieces and each set is mirrored. So this is the right side, this is the wrong side. They're both facing the same direction though, as you can see. So the next step is you're going to lay your front pieces uh, and your back piece right side together. So one front and one back right sides together. And now you're going to sew from here all the way up and then you're going to repeat on this side, lining up these raw edges and sewing all the way up to right here where the crotch seam is. Now that the pant legs are sewn, we're going to hem them. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn the hem up a half inch and then another half inch and sew it. Or you can turn it up one inch and sew it. You can do it either way. Now that our pant legs are hemmed, we're going to take our pant leg that's right side out and we're going to insert it into the pant leg that is inside out. So, and we're going to line up the rise. These pants are super easy and quick to make. Okay, so now that they are right sides together, this is the one I just put in. This is the outer one. We're just going to line up the rise here and here and then the back and we're just going to sew this using the serger or stretch stitch. The seam allowance is 3 8 of an inch. And then after that all we have left to do is our elastic. So here my rise is sewn and now I just need to turn these pants right side out. Ta-da! All right, next we're going to move on to the elastic. Okay, so here I have it sewn. And you just open it up like this. And now we're just going to sew these sides down right here. And I like to use a zigzag to just open those, keep those open. Okay, so here I have it sewn. And you just open it up like this. And now we're just going to sew these sides down right here. And I like to use a zigzag to just open those, keep those open. Okay, so now that it is uh, sewn, as you can see, we're just going to fold it in half right at that seam line. We're going to mark it 180 degrees out, which is right here. So this will be where our front seam is. And this will line up where our back seam is. Okay, so when we do this, we want that raw edge that we sewn to uh, be facing away from the pants. So this nice non-raw edge side that's going to be facing the pant, the right side of the pant. So bumpy away. And this is the back seam. And I'm just going to pin it right there at the seam. And then I'm going to pin this one at the front seam. And I only do two spots because between the front and the back, from here to here, is the same as here to here. So as long as you stretch it like that, you don't need to mark it in four places. Just evenly stretch it as you sew in the round. Okay, so we're gonna wanna sew this in the round. So I'm at my serger right now. This is my back. And I'm just going to take my pin out, raise my foot, 
I'm going to put it under here like this and put the foot back down. And you can do this on your sewing machine also and you're going to want to use a zigzag stitch or some other stretch stitch for this because it needs to stretch around your waist. So you just want to keep those raw edges lined up like that. And that's it. Now we're going to fold that inside just like this. So you have a little bit of the pant there and we're going to stitch in the ditch which means stitching in this seam. So the stitch line will be right here so it won't be visible and we're going to do it at all four seams. So front seam, back seam, and both of the side seams. Next we're going to stitch in the ditch. So. I have my sewing machine set to just doing a straight stitch and I'm going to line this up so that it's right where the seam is and I'm just going to sew down to where the bottom of my elastic is. And then back stitch. And I'm going to repeat it on my front side. And then my side seams. So you just want to make sure that that side seam is pushed to one side, otherwise it'll be really bumpy. That's all there is to it. Now I'm just going to trim these threads off and it will be ready to go. So that's it. Your pants are done. And if you would like to do a waistband as more like a yoga waistband, there's a blog on my website, rainsitypatterncompany.com, that will show you how to do it. Also, if you want to do an encased elastic, you could just add the width of the elastic to the rise and then make your casing for it that way and I'll have a blog on my website on how to do that also. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial. Bye!